Hey, Andy Joel's here for VideoCreditScore.com. We're going to talk about the new credit card rules that are coming in July 2010. I know this is a little bit of time to wait for these rules, but let's go through the rules and then we'll talk about the timing. So, first set of sort of good news is that there's a set of what I call no mores in these rules. So, no more are you going to be able to get an interest rate hike against the money that you've already borrowed. So that's a pretty big one. No more are you going to uh, take on an interest rate hike in year one that was unannounced. So promotions will be exempted from this uh, if they have it in writing to say, hey, this is only going to last six months and then we're going to raise the rate. So no more are you going to suffer uh, interest payments if the uh, time that the bill was mailed to you is and the turnaround time was less than 21 days so that one is pretty big as well and no more double cycle billing we talked about this in the previous episode so that's gonna be gone in addition they also place some restrictions so they're gonna restrict the amount of interest that can be placed on fees so if fees take up a majority of your available credit they're gonna restrict sort of the interest that that they can put on fees on those types of payments so they're also going to make sure that the um, the allocation of payments goes against the highest interest rate balances that you have so this is going to be really helpful for consumers as well to make sure that they're paying down their debt in the right order so that's very very valuable so what does this mean you know uh, or what's missing so what's missing is penalty fees these were not really addressed in the mandate and penalty fees are an over 18 billion dollar revenue business for the credit card issuers so big 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 business and those were not really addressed in this mandate uh, what else well these credit card issuers have an interesting sort of short-term impact. They sort of realize that their profitability is going to really be changed by July 2010. So what are they doing? They're trying to max profits right now. And this is probably because of this mandate. It's also due to the fact that revolving balances are also declining. And so they really need to look for profitability. Well, what are they doing? Well, they're closing down credit cards. Well, how does that help profitability? Well, it can actually decrease your credit score and make it so that when you have to apply for a new card, you're going to have that card at a higher rate. So what else are they doing? Well, they're lowering credit card limits. Well, what does that do? Well, again, that also can lower your credit score, your credit score and that can impact the same story I just mentioned. Uh, but also what it can do is it can lead to fee revenue because if your credit limit's been decreased, and maybe you don't know about it, maybe you go over the limit, you're gonna pay a late fee. So they're doing that. What else are they doing? They're raising the APR on, on your cards so that if you do carry a balance, you're now gonna to have to pay a higher rate. So that's something that we're starting to see as well. What this means is never more important than today for you to manage your credit wisely. You really gotta get on top of your credit. Make sure that you understand credit scoring. Make sure that you understand credit management. I can help you do this by coming to videocreditscore.com. You can also friend me up on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and we'll see you soon. Remember, everyone's situation is different. Be sure to contact a financial advisor or a credit counseling professional before making important financial decisions. This video broadcast is for educational purposes and not a substitute for receiving personalized professional advice.